Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the pump module assembly on your dishwasher, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a Phillips screwdriver, and a pair of slip joint pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now with the dishwasher out of the cabinets, we'll next remove the lower rack, and we'll set that aside. And we're also going to remove the upper rack. So we'll start by releasing the rack stops. Slide those out. Just pull the whole upper rack completely out of the dishwasher and set it aside. Now next, we're going to remove two screws that secure that back manifold, one at the top and one at the back of the tub. They're Phillips screws, so remove those. Next, we can remove the lower spray arm. So just grasp the spray arm and twist that center locking nut clockwise until it releases it. Lift the spray arm off and set it aside. And then pull that manifold down from the ceiling. And just tilt it a bit to the right. And then lift up on the base of it and rotate it clockwise until it disengages from the hub at the center. And just carefully lift that whole assembly out, set it aside. And you can next remove the center spray arm bearing, including the little nylon washer, and set that aside because we will need that to install on the new pump. Now at this point you can close the dishwasher up and we're going to lay it on its back so that we can release the mounting tabs from the bottom of the pump as well as disconnect the drain hose and the electrical connections. The first thing we'll want to do is remove the drain hose. We're just going to squeeze that clamp, slide it up on the elbow, and have a container handy to catch up any of the water that might spill. And set that out of the way. We'll next remove the two wires to the drain pump. Release the little locking tab on the drain pump, rotate it counterclockwise, and slide that out. We'll next remove the sensor, so you just turn it a quarter of a turn counterclockwise, and it will pull down and out of the base of the pump. Remove the wire harness to the motor. Release the locking tabs on the side and disconnect that. And then remove the three clips that hold that pump. And now we can go inside the dishwasher and pull the pump and motor assembly up through the tub. So we'll start by holding that spray arm and then just turn that retaining nut in the center clockwise. That will release it. Next we can just pull ahead on that manifold and rotate the whole assembly clockwise until it releases in the center. And just pop that up and remove it completely and pull the lower spray arm bearing out of the pump, set that aside. Now with the pump released below, we should be able to just lift that up out of the opening. The gasket may be holding it in place a bit, so if need be, just reach in underneath and push up on it to break it free. And then lift the whole assembly up and remove it. Now before we install the new pump, we we'll want to clean this surface of any debris. And at the front of that opening in the base of the tub, there's a little notch that will line up with the pump. So when we lower that down in, we want to make sure that we have that lined up properly. And you may just need to lubricate the edge of that rubber gasket with some 
dishwashing detergent is a, um, a good solution. That will allow that to slide in there a little easier as we need to make sure that it presses firmly into the base of the tub or we won't be able to get the locking tabs engaged on the bottom. And then just make sure it's flat all the way around and flush and that gasket should sit just below the lip of that odor tub. Our next step will be to install the lower spray arm bearing in that nylon washer that just sits right in that opening. Next we'll reinstall the manifold. So we're going to line that up, set that over top of that bearing, and then rotate it counterclockwise until it locks in position. Reinstall the two screws that secure that manifold, one to the back wall and one to the ceiling. So next we'll install the lower spray arm, sit it over the spray arm bearing, and rotate the retainer counterclockwise to lock it in position. Make sure it turns freely. So next we'll install the mounting wedges. And they will be a little bit snug with the new pump, so you may need to some downward pressure from the inside to hold it while you install them. And make sure they're fully inserted. We can reconnect the harness connector to the motor. Make sure the locking tabs engage. And just clean that O-ring around the sensor. And if need be, just apply a little bit of dishwasher detergent to that to make it seat better. And turn it until it locks in place. Next, we'll install the pump, keeping the locking tab on the top, so fit it into the opening, and then rotate clockwise. Make sure the tab engages. Next, we'll reconnect the drain outlet hose. Make sure it's firmly seated on the pump body and then slide the clamp down into position. Connect the wires to the pump. We're now ready to put the dishwasher back into the cabinets and reinstall the access panel, the supply, and the electricity. We can now stand the dishwasher back up again and reconnect the components on the inside. So we'll reinstall that center spray arm bearing and the nylon washer. Just insert them into the center and we'll take the manifold and tuck it into the corner. Position it over the hub in the center. Rotate counterclockwise and then reinstall the two screws. Next, we'll install the lower spray arm, set it over the spray arm bearing, just hold that in place and then turn that retaining nut counterclockwise until it tightens. You just rotate that spray arm and make sure it doesn't bind. Next, we'll install the upper rack, pull the rails out, line up the wheels.
reinstall the rack stops. Make sure they're down far enough that the little locking tab engages. Reinstall the bottom rack. And we can now push the dishwasher back into the cabinets, reconnect the electrical and the inlet water supply, and then we're ready to put the access panel back on. Now with the access panel installed, we're ready to turn the water supply on and the electricity on, and our repair is complete. I told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching. And good luck with your repair.